Hi students, this lesson is very important for you because you have to know how to make sentences with because, even though, because of, despite, and um, due to. You have to know that to make your English better, especially when you're writing. So what we have here is a lesson on how to use because of, due to, despite. The grammar is the same for all of the lessons. So we use because of and due to instead of because. For example, I study English because I want to go to a good university. When I use because, I have sentence, because, sentence. Instead of saying because, I can say due to or because of, but the grammar changes. For example, I study English because I want to go to a university. I study English due to wanting to go to a university or a good university. After due to, I can't have a sentence. I'm going to have a gerund. I'm just going to put ing on the verb. Likewise, I study English because of wanting to go to a good university. So after due to and because of, because that's a preposition, of is a preposition, I need to put an ing on the verb. You cannot say, I study English because of I want to go to a university. No, it's because of wanting to go to a university due to wanting. Likewise, the same rule applies to despite. Let's look at that. Even though we are not face-to-face, -face, comma, we can learn English. And remember, when I use even though, no but, no but there. Then despite, despite not being face-to-face, -face, we can learn English. Even though I have a lot of money, I am not very happy. Just kidding. Despite having a lot of money, I am very, oh, I am not very happy. I'll have to change that to not very happy. So what you see here is this is a negative. Even though we are not face to face, we can learn English. So when I have despite, I know I need to have a gerund, ing verb. So I take the not, it's the first thing I do. Are becomes being. Are becomes being. So despite not being face to face, we can learn English. Even though I have a lot of money, I am not very happy. Despite having a lot of money, I am not very happy. So here is some grammar. Due to speaking English better, my life is more comfortable in the United States. Because of speaking English better, my life is more comfortable in the United States. So due to has a gerund. Because of has a gerund. And we're learning about gerunds starting tomorrow. Um, so a gerund is just the ing on a verb after a preposition. Likewise, I can have a noun. Due to the cold weather, everybody is wearing a jacket. Because of the cold weather, everybody is wearing a jacket. So you can have due to plus a noun, because of plus a noun. Then we have despite. Despite speaking English well, and despite means even though, despite speaking English well, my co-workers can't understand me. So this is an example of despite plus a gerund. Then I have an example of despite plus a noun. Despite the cold weather, I don't want to wear a jacket. So what you're going to do here is you've got six sentences, and you're going to rewrite them using due to or because of, which mean the same thing, and despite, which means even though. For example, because we study online, we don't know everyone's face. Due to studying online, 
we don't know everyone's face or because of studying online we don't know everyone's face i think this is going to really help your english writing a lot everything we do in this class your english will get a lot better please devote 10 hours of studying every week and then i think you will find a very big improvement in your english bye